Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for everything Charleston and beyond. I'm Ashley Mazurvi. It's Medical Monday at East Cooper Medical Center, and today we're talking about when a patient needs to have orthopedic surgery, but also when alternative treatment methods could be just what the doctor ordered. Medical Monday, sponsored by East Cooper Medical Center. Joining us today, Dr. Brody McCoy. Thanks again for having us. Well, thank you so much for coming here. Really appreciate it. All right, today we're talking about non-surgical treatment options. What are some of those? So there are a lot of things short of having surgery that you can do prior to having, you know, uh, having something done invasively. One of the several things that can be done, one is physical therapy and taking non steroidals but a very exciting aspect of orthopedics, kind of a new branch of orthopedic surgery, if you will, is something that we call orthobiologics. It just means using biological means, nat you know, kind of natural means to help heal your body. And probably the, another good way to look at it is what we do is we concentrate your natural your body's natural ability to heal and we use that to treat various conditions. A couple things that, that are in this category, one would be something called platelet-rich plasma or PRP. There's been mm -hmm. a lot of that in the lay press. And the way this works is we, we draw about 10 cc's of blood out of your arm, just like you would have in a, um, if you were getting your cholesterol checked. We take that 10 cc's of blood and we spin it down in a centrifuge, just like you probably had in your high school chemistry class. We Which I didn't do very well. Didn't do well. Go ahead. You don't have to. to we'll, we'll, we'll take care of the spinning <laughs> okay, down and getting gotcha. the plasma. You just got to give us the blood. That's <laughs> okay, all you got to do. do so, so we spin it out, and your blood is composed of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. When we centrifuge it, we spin out the red blood cells and white blood cells, and we have the plasma, that buffy coat that has all the growth factors in the platelets. That has a, you know, thousands of growth factors that allow your body to heal itself. We take that milieu and we inject it in various aspects of the body, wherever the damage may be, to try to help treat the condition. So we're trying to jump start your body to heal itself, because the healing's in the blood. Okay. And the blood is where the healing is, and we're just trying to get the blood components that do the healing to the right area. Okay, this could be totally random, but it's making me think about like an umbilical cord. Is it like kind of like that situation well, if you I mean if you were one sure. of those people that didn't have a parent that stored that but is that kind so, of like the same deal well from the umbilical cord we get some we get some amniotic cells from a newborn that's okay. that's something that's called stem cell treatment but in the yeah. plasma treatment this actually comes from yourself that we take it spin it down take that plasma it works real well in people that have like tennis elbow this recalcitrant or not you know being treated by other means golfer's elbow patella tendonitis rotator cuff yeah. tendonitis we can inject that, we use an ultrasound right in the office, we draw the blood, it takes about 15 minutes to do it, spin it down and we inject the plasma in there. The results are phenomenal. They, there was a huge study in Sweden where they looked at comparing um, lubricant injections, a lot of people that have any arthritis probably know what those mm -hmm. are, like you know, hyaluronic acid, comparing that to PRP, hands down the plasma injections are much better. So who are candidates? I mean, I know you talked about so, some of the Yeah, so rotator cuff tendonitis, you know, shoulder problems that people have. It doesn't matter your age? Or doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter your age. We, we do people from, you know, I, I do a lot of high school athletes, collegiate athletes. I do people 60s, 70s, it really doesn't make a big difference. How, how new is this? I mean, is it? So, you know, I've been doing it for quite some time. I've been doing it in Europe for uh, probably 15 years. I started doing whole blood about 10 years ago been doing plasma for probably about six years and had excellent results with it. So is this though for someone who really just doesn't want to go under the knife and you're, are these the things that you're trying before? Sure, your... all this is before surgery. I mean, okay. I, we try to start as conservative as we can, treat what we can conservatively and reserve surgery for yeah. only those who fail these other measures. Which is such a great thing because a lot of times you find people, you need surgery or yeah, you yeah. need that instead of trying sure. everything they can to sure. not go under the Sure, I mean people think well he's an orthopedic surgeon all he does is operate. The vast majority of people I see in my office I treat non-operatively. That's wonderful. Okay so and if how effective you would so, say yeah, it's yeah so great great question. So we looked at some of these studies that you know it varies depending on where in the body you're talking about, but I think we've got about an 85 to 90 percent efficacy rate wow. uh, of getting somebody better with this. Uh, again, the, the the way this what's exciting because anywhere you think about people have problems, like whether it's tennis elbow, mm -hmm. golfer's elbow, patella tendonitis, what all those diagnoses have in common is there's a lack of blood supply. So what we want to do is get the blood there to allow the healing to occur. And what better way to do this than doing plasma? That's incredible. Well, Dr. McCoy, thank you again well, for joining us. Well, thank you for having us. us. We sure appreciate it. And as always, you can visit them online at eastcoopermedctr.com.